Holy crap, what is this thing? Straight out of the thrift yeah. store Looking for toys for more My name is Burf and this is my turf I'm straight out of the thrift store Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf. I just came off my Friday thrift run. I was headed home and I decided, I decided to stop at Old Thrifty Pants here in the colony. So I'm gonna pop in here real quick. I was here the other day and scored some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So I'm gonna see if they got anything else on the shelves. It's 11 o'clock, so the shelves might be picked over. The parking lot's kind of full already, so I'm not expecting to find too much of anything, but who knows? We'll keep our fingers crossed and say our little prayer. Thrift gods, be good to me today. All right, well, let's see what we got. What is this? Unassembled plastic model kit. Oh, it's an alien. All right. And we've got an Optimus Prime. He's kind of cool. Not gonna get him, but he's kind of cool. And check out this thing. It's like a carrying case. I think I saw this one other time at a thrift giant over on the Irving side of town. And we've got this re-engineering truck, which is a remote control. It's kind of neat. And looks like we got a Mandalorian mailbox over here. Let's take this down here and take a little look at it. It's got some stickers. It's kind of fun. I would have probably picked it up if it hadn't been for this guy. <laughs> I don't like this guy for some reason. But the Mandalorian's cool. So they got this Fisher Price. This was a really popular toy for babies back in the day. And I'm just wondering if it's vintage because it's got this wooden bottom. This thing here looks kind of war and beat. I was trying to see if it had like a uh, a date on it, but I can't find a date anywhere. But it actually makes like real telephone sounding noises. If this thing was vintage, I would actually get it. I just don't know if it's vintage. So I think this thing actually is vintage. If you look, it's got a 61 right next to the copyright. I think this is from 1961 number 747 i looked this up on ebay and everything kind of matches up with what i'm seeing here i do believe this is a 1961 fisher price telephone oh and then we got this guy right here this is another let me see if i can find a date on this guy so check out this mr potato head carrying case that's actually a mr potato head itself so it looks like all the accessories and stuff are inside. And then you can also take those and place eyeballs and a nose and a mouth on them on the outside. It's kind of neat. All right, so I'm gonna put this back on the shelf. It's in pretty rough shape. The uh, phone number paper here is all coming off. It's ripped and torn. You know, it's got a lot of wear on it. It's cool that it's from 1961, but it's beat. However, this is a vintage 1970s Digger Dog from Romper Room. And they only want $4.99 for it. I've seen them sell for about 20 bucks on eBay. So I'm gonna pick this guy up. I used to watch Romper Room all the time when I was a kid. Holy crap, what is this thing? Oh man, that is awesome. I am definitely getting this. He looks like, yeah, he doesn't look like he has any broken pieces. He's like a big 24 inch tall one too. And check out this Hulk. It's a Hot Wheels playset. set. This thing's pretty awesome. And check out this dinosaur, this Triceratops with like this battle gear. That's pretty cool too. Okay, so I thought about getting this guy and was going to get Digger. 
but I think I'm gonna pass on both of those and I'm gonna pick up the droid and the Hulk. Yeah, I'm still thinking about that digger back there, but I think I'm gonna leave him. Yeah, I don't know, I'll think about it a little more. All right, guys, well, hey, that was kind of a turnaround a little bit. These guys were on a shelf that, with other toys, it seemed like they moved some stuff around because these weren't on the normal toy shelf. They were on a toy shelf that looks to be a brand new toy shelf that I've never seen in there before. So they must be adding some shelves, maybe getting ready for Christmas sort of thing. <laughs> so, but anyway, um, we'll get in the car and we'll take a quick look at these guys, do a little show and tell. Okay, so this is a Hulk Hot Wheels Spin and Smash. And it has a racetrack that you connect on both sides. And then what you do is you take Hulk and you spin him and you try to get your car to go through this area without him smashing it. So this thing is pretty cool. I saw it selling on eBay for about 20 or $22 or something like that without the track. And as I was looking this up on eBay, some guy walked up and started to reach out to grab it. And I hurry up and put my hand on it. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm actually checking prices on this stuff right now. He's like, oh man, I'm sorry. He's like, yeah, I gotta make sure you keep your hand on that stuff, you know? So, but yeah, this thing is really dope. And then we got this giant 20 inch Rogue One droid. I can't remember the name of this droid just because I'm not really that into the new Star Wars. I'm into the original trilogy. But this thing is pretty cool, and I love me some droids and some robots, and he's kind of beat up a little bit. But anyway, uh, yeah, this thing is pretty cool, man. And I've got other 20-inch Jack Pacific uh, Star Wars figures that this will look really nice with in the bunker. All right, well, hey, you know what? That was actually pretty good. This Thrift Giant, the last two times I've been there, we've scored some stuff out of it, which is awesome, and it makes me feel good. It's, I got my flair, you know? The flair is bringing me some luck. But hey, if you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you're always first to be notified of the next episode. Let me know uh, any of the stuff that I put back on the shelf or I considered getting that I didn't get. Would you have gotten it? Like that digger dog, I like, part of me is just like, I should have got that thing, you know? But then other part of me is like, it's a baby toy, you know? I remember having something like that when I was a kid. Maybe not that specific dog necessarily. I don't remember, I was a baby, you know what I mean? So, but I do have some memories of seeing that in a toy box or something when I was a little older. But would you have picked that up? Would you have gotten that? Or would you have went ahead and bought that 1961 Fisher Price telephone? even though it was beat up. So anyway, give me a follow on Instagram and tickety talk at 80s Toys Rock and Rock is spelled R-O-C. In the meantime, Hulk smash. I'll catch you on the flip side.